Welcome to Field to Feast, where we celebrate Louisiana's ingredients. Today, we're meeting up with local celebrity chef Jay Decody. He's going to take us around to his farming friends to gather the ingredients for a delicious Louisiana lunch. Field to Feast with Jennifer Finley is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, beef is what's for dinner. And by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, think rice. I love beets. We're at Fullness Organic Farms. This is a hidden gem in Baton Rouge. We're actually pretty much at the corner of, uh, of Nicholson and Blue Bonnet. It's amazing, and you right? would, yeah, you would never know uh, that this farm is here. They're really just great people that are making great food, and that's what we need more of in Baton Rouge. I'm gonna walk around the farm with Grant and see what he's got. Uh, I know he's got some root vegetables right now, some beets and some carrots and some things like that. So yeah, we're just digging for gold now. Oh, look at those carrots. All right, Grant, the beets over here. All right, we've got some epic beets here. More. They've been uh, they've been thinned out to perfection. Ooh. And look so at that. I really like them when they when they're big, but then they still have beautiful tops on them. Uh huh. You know, beets are in the same family as chard, so the the tops taste like chard. And then so you, you just kind of saute it down. Yeah, they they tilt they wilt down easy. They kind of they kind of color whatever you're cooking with. Okay. But you know that's not I kind of like that. Is the flavor different if you're using local ingredients? Yeah, it's next level to use ingredients like this. You really want to get as local as you can with all that stuff, and and in so many ways, local is better. A lot of times, most of the time, it's going to taste better because you're getting it from a local farm. It's fresher. It's it's was picked more recently. The carrot tops are great too. Nice. What do you, you do? Pesto or? Yeah, yeah. Carrot top pesto is great. You can use it for garnish in a, a lot of dishes that feature carrot. And we're gonna try to make a taco. We gotta go to Iverstein Farms Butcher as well. I know uh, I'm gonna pick up some beef from him, and then uh, we're just gonna kind of throw some stuff together at my house. So we'll see how it goes. Got a lot of meat in the case today. We do. Yeah. Good. Good selection. The guys have been cutting all morning, getting it filled up. Yeah, I love this. The the flat irons and the merlot and the picanha cuts that you don't see everywhere else. Yeah, an easy, approachable you know, five minute cuts on the grill. One of our staff favorites is the bavette. It's kind of a lesser known cut. It's got a little more flavor than the skirt steaks and things like that. And uh, we find it a little more tender. It takes a marinade really quickly too. Love it. So, yeah, that looks good. Let's cut it up. Yeah, so we're gonna take a bavette cut. It's uh, it's it's really like the sirloin flap. It's it's pretty close to along uh, the, kind of the inside of the cow where, where your skirt steaks come from. Uh, so a lot of times that's used as tacos and fajitas and things like that. So we're gonna use that cut. We're actually gonna use it to make essentially a sort of fajita at my house with those beets and carrots as well that we got from Fullness Organic Farm. So beef and beets, that's what we're doing. Okay, I'm so excited. I'm really, really hungry. So stay with us because next up we're heading to Jay's Kitchen for beef and beets. All right, I got it all in the back all bag. Set. Appreciate it, what buddy. What time's lunch? Always a pleasure. I'll come over anytime. All right, thanks, Jay. I'll be ready in about an hour. All right, have a good one. So we're back in the home kitchen with Jay Decody. We've been to Fullness and Iverstein, mm. and we have been shopping, and I'm so excited. What are we making for Me lunch? Me too, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start with those beautiful beets that we got that Grant pulled right out of the ground beets. for us. Uh, we're gonna cut those up, get them in the oven to roast, and then we're gonna pickle, do a real quick pickle on some carrots from Fullness. Okay. We're gonna take this beef that's still marinating mm. here, we're going to sear it right on the flat top. We've got some tortillas from Ola Nola in Gonzales, Louisiana. We're going to make some, some beef and beet fajitas. We're just going to give the beets a nice little uh, trim. I mean, th these things were just plucked from the earth mm -hmm. not but an hour ago. And uh, so uh, I did wash them, but really um, that skin on the outside of them we don't really want for the roasting. Okay. So that's why I'm just uh, giving them a nice peel. I'm really just gonna kind of cube mm. them up like a, 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 about a quarter inch or a centimeter cube like that. 
All right, so with these beets, I'm gonna take a little olive oil. Okay. And drizzle that on. And then I'm gonna use this rub. This is JD's Backyard Brisket Rub. Ooh. Now it might be just kind of a weird thought there to say, let's use a brisket rub. But really, this is just kind of my custom blend of salt and pepper. Oh, that's All awesome. right, so we're gonna spread these out in a single layer. I've got the oven at 425. So we're really gonna, gonna roast these beets. We're gonna get them hot. We're gonna get them kind of crispy. And it's gonna be perfect to put on the taco as mm. part of the ingredient list there. So let me pop this in the oven and then we'll switch gears to the carrots. Let's go. Now we're on to the fullness carrots. And I've got just a little water in this saucepan here. And I'm gonna add some rice wine vinegar. Okay. And what we're gonna do here is just a, a, a quick hot pickle. So what I wanna do is just take my carrot and make all these thin strips with my vegetable peeler. I've got all these carrot ribbons. Beautiful. And I'm gonna drop them right in there in our vinegar. And now we're just gonna let that simmer okay. while everything else is cooking. All right, our beets are roasting in the oven. Our carrots are right there on the stove. We've got this flat top hot. This is that marinated beef that we got from Iverstein's butcher shop. This was the bavette cut or the sirloin flap. Yes. Sliced up against the grain, marinated with olive oil, lime juice, and my JD's sweet and savory chili, chili rub. And Yummy. We're just gonna dump right there on the flat top. Oh my. We'll go ahead and spread all this out. Spreading. Make sure we're getting that surface area down. And this is local Louisiana beef. That's right. And uh, so I've got my flat top pretty hot here. So we can start to flip oh. everything over. I'm looking for that sear, right? Like I want to see some of that browning happening. And I wanna I, I wanna get that, that Maillard reaction that's that browning of the meat. I want it to get a little bit of char on it. That's gonna give us a lot of flavor. So I'm gonna pull these off of the grill and uh, put that aside to, to cool off, to rest a little bit. And uh, we gotta get the flat top ready for our tortillas. And then we gotta check on our beets that are in the oven roasting. Sounds good. Oh my word. Look at that, yeah, adorable. Those are gonna be super tasty. We've got to get some tortillas ready here. Okay. So, fortunately, I've got this great flat top here as well. We're gonna get our tortillas down. You'll see it start to bubble up. Yes. And once it's really bubbling like that, you can flip it. Oh, look at that. Oh, pretty. Okay. You grab your plate. I will. We'll give you a tortilla there. I'm so excited. I'll move these off to the side. And now, I'm gonna come right here and Thank get some you, of this delicious Iverstein beef. Mm. Beets. For our beef and beet fajita. Right. Now, two more ingredients here. Our quick pickled carrots, and then this cilantro actually came right from fullness this morning as well. Absolutely and there's our beautiful. Beef and beet fajita with uh, pickled carrots and fullness cilantro. Cheers, friend. Thank you so much for spending the day with us uh -huh. with your friends. Cheers. Field to Feast with Jennifer Finley was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. And by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board. Think rice. That does it for this edition of Twyla. Be sure to join us next week when we'll show you what all the buzz is about when it comes to one-of-a-kind beehives. Until then, you can watch all of our stories online at twylatv.org. And be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. You can also find all of these stories and a little bit more on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you know when we put new stuff on there. For all of us here at Twyla, thank you for joining us. We hope to see you again right here next week.